Hey, welcome to school. We are so glad you're here to be with us today. We have some things to learn about. We hope you like them. This book is called A Caterpillar Grows Up. Now a caterpillar can grow up to be a moth or a butterfly. Let's see what happens in this story. The first thing that happens is a mother moth or butterfly lays her eggs. Did you know they had eggs? And she lays it on a leaf. And then it starts to grow. Look at all those tiny little eggs. Teeny tiny. Whoops. Can't see them, huh? Look at that one. Teeny tiny eggs. Let's see what happens. The eggs hatch. Can you see them hatching? See what's coming out? It's a little tiny caterpillar. Look. Look at those little tiny caterpillars. Can you see them? They're coming out of those eggs. You know what? They're hungry. So the mother laid them on a leaf, and so they start to eat that leaf. In fact, the first thing they actually eat is their little eggshell. Look at them. And then they eat leaves and leaves and leaves. And they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger every day. Did you know it has six little eyes on each side of its head? Look how big that caterpillar has gotten. Oh my goodness. Look at the colors. Look at the legs. See these little legs? Hmm. It starts to wiggle out of its old skin four or five times. It gets too big for its skin. Do you get too big for your skin? No, you just, your skin grows too. But a caterpillar has a wiggle out of his old skin and he has new skin on. Now, one day he gets so full that he starts to hang upside down on a branch. You know what he does? He makes a little sleeping bag around his body with his own spit. Can you do that, make sleeping bags? Well, he does. And inside that sleeping bag, he starts to go to sleep. And that is called a chrysalis. Look at him. Now he's done. Now he can sleep. Do you think a caterpillar snores? In the chrysalis, he starts to change. Look. Ooh. He's changing. Oh, and then one day, he starts to come out of the chrysalis. <gasps> Look. This one's a butterfly, isn't it? But a moth would do the same thing. When they come out of the chrysalis, they're wet. So they start to flap their wings. And after they get them all dry, they can fly away. Whether it's a butterfly or a moth, they do the same thing. Wow. Do you remember our caterpillar, Papa? Do you remember that she gets tired? I think she gets tired because she's been eating so much that now she has to hang on a branch and make a chrysalis around her body to turn into a moth or a butterfly. You want to sing her song? My name is Caterpillar, my... Oh, wake up, wake up, oh. My name starts with C. C sounds like K, K. Caterpillar. Oh, wake up. C, 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 K, K, K. Caterpillar, C, C, C. Good night, Caterpillar. You can go change now. Oh, thank you. These two bugs look kind of the same. This one's an actual butterfly. This one is called a moth. Look at the antenna. That's what comes out of his head. The butterflies are skinny, tiny. The moth, sometimes they're fuzzy looking. A moth 
sometimes eats cloth. Like we don't like a moth in our house because he might eat a hole in our shirt or our curtain or our coat. But a butterfly goes out to flowers and lands on them and helps make other flowers grow. By landing on one, he gets some dusty stuff on his legs called pollen and he flies to another flower and drops some of it off. It just falls off in that flower. And if he does that a lot, he mixes up the pollen from the flowers and it helps the flowers on the trees grow, on the ground grow. When the flowers on the trees grow, then the tree can grow apples and peaches and oranges and things that that tree might grow. So some people like butterflies and they don't like moths as much but we'll talk about them. Do you know what letter this is? You're right, it's letter M. M makes the sound mmm, like monkey and marshmallow. M goes up, then down, then up, and down. If I turn it this way, what letter does it change to? You're right, a W. Kinda looks like a W. But this is letter M because these legs of the M are pointing down. It's like he's standing up, right? Instead of this way where it looks like he's doing a, hand, uh, a handstand and he's upside down. So this is letter M. M, uppercase M, lowercase M. What sound does M make again? Mm. Let's turn it over and see for right. Oh, do you see this little mouse? Oh, he's hiding in a hole in the house. Mouse starts with the mmm sound. Let's see what's on the back of this picture. <gasps> monkey, like our magic monkey. Magic and monkey and mouse start with what letter? Letter M. Good job. Do you remember our story about how a moth or a butterfly grow? We're going to do a little paper about that. So here we have a moth on a flower, just pollinating the flower, and we have him flying away. This says, fly away, little moth. Right here it says, how a moth grows. It says, cut out the pictures, glue them in order. Here are the pictures we have. Do you have these? I hope so. We're going to cut them apart. Remember how we hold scissors, thumb in the little hole, Fingers in the bigger hole, aim it out, thumb on top, open, shut, open, shut. Let's cut these apart on the line that cuts them into squares. And then we'll talk about what they are. I have three. Do you have three? I see one, two, three, and it says glue, glue, glue. So I'm getting my glue, and I hope you have some glue. And I'm going to look at these pictures and decide which one is, a f is the first one in a story of how a moth grows. So this is a grown-up moth, so that's probably not first. There's a chrysalis, here's eggs, and here's a caterpillar. Do you remember what our story said? Yeah. It starts with a moth laying eggs on a leaf. So this is going to be our first one with the eggs, and then they open up and become little caterpillars. So that's number one. Then the caterpillar grows and he eats lots of leaves. And then what? He gets tired and he makes a little chrysalis, like a sleeping bag, out of his own spit. Did you know that? And he wraps it around his body and he makes it snug and he hangs upside down in there. And he's changing while he's in there, isn't he? His body's changing from a caterpillar into what? A moth or a butterfly. But we're talking about a moth right now. So there he is, eggs to caterpillar, eating the leaf he's on so he gets strong. He eats some more leaves. He climbs out on a branch, he hangs upside down and makes a chrysalis. Some people call it a cocoon around his body. And then he changes and one day he wiggles and wiggles and wiggles himself out 
and he's a moth. When he comes out, he's wet. He has to flap his wings and get them to uncurl and flap them till they're dry, and then he can fly away. Wow, on this side, we have letter M. Did you know that moth starts with M? Moth. Huh, it does. We have little dot, dot, dot lines. That means we're going to follow from the M to the moth. Here's what it says. Trace the path from the letter M's to the correct moth. Circle and trace all the big M's. Okay, so here's my path to that one. Should we color him green? Can a moth be green? Probably. A lot of times they're gray or brown. We don't see them very well, but some are really pretty colors, like butterflies, kind of. Okay, now we're gonna trace the M. And what else? Circle. to help you trace write your name and then you can trace it okay we found the M's and the moths we traced moth starts with mm, M we found how this moth grew from egg to caterpillar to chrysalis to grown-up moth and then he flew away you could color these too thanks look it's Monkey, and he's magical. He has his magic hat, his magic wand. Look at that. He starts with letter, what? M, M Monkey M Magic. Let's see what his song is. <laughs> My name is Magic Monkey. My name starts with M. M sounds like mm, magic, mm, monkey, M, M, M. Oh, oh, can, I can disappear. No, do we need you to stay? Okay. Can you find some M's in our room? Oh, I love to find things. Let me see. Can you turn me around a little bit? Okay. Oh, let's see. <laughs> oh, ah! No, they're just pictures. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, there's one. Oh, that one? Yeah. Big M, little M. Mmm. That's not a monkey. It's a mouse. Mouse and monkey both start with M. Let's try a little exercise. You ready? You might remember some of this. I like to jump and jump and jump and jump and jump. Jump and jump and jump and jump and jump. I like to jump and jump and jump and jump and jump. And jump and jump and jump and jump and jump. Now let's stop and stop and stop and stop and stop. Let's stop and stop and stop and stop and stop. Let's stop and stop and stop and stop and stop. And stop, 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 stop. Can you fly? I like to fly and fly and fly and fly and fly. Let's 